हरे कृष्णा वी मे नॉट नो वॉट द फ्यूचर होल्ड्स बट वी नो हु होल्ड्स द फ्यूचर ऑफन थॉट्स ऑफ द फ्यूचर कॉज एंगजाइटी वी वॉन्ट टू हैव अ ब्राइट फ्यूचर फॉर आर सेल्स बट एट द सेम टाइम वी आर फ्यूरफुल वॉट इफ आर फ्यूचर टर्न आउट टू बी डार्क टू बी टेरेबली डार्क वॉट इफ आर हेल्थ गोज डाउन वॉट ऑफ आर लाउड वंस लीव अर्स वॉट इफ वी लूज आर जॉब सो मेनी थिंग्स कैन गो रॉन्ग इन द फ्यूचर थिंग्स वी कैन इमेजिन एंड थिंग्स विच वी कॉन्ट इवन इमेजिन एंड लॉर्ड ऑफ पीपल ट्राई टू गेन सम सेंस ऑफ सिक्योरिटी बाय ट्राइंग टू समहाउ नो द फ्यूचर दे मे लुक इन टू सम ग्लोब्स आर आर गो टू सम मीडियम्स हु कैन पियर इन टू अ ग्लोब एंड टेल दैम वॉट द फ्यूचर इज दे मे गो टू सम एस्ट्रोलॉजिस्ट टू ट्राई टू फाइंड आउट वॉट इज द फ्यूचर और देर आर सोशियोलॉजिस्ट हुल ब्रांच ऑफ स्टडी कॉल सो फ्यूचरोलॉजी where they try to predict future trends and deal with and prepare hopefully so there is a great obsession with the future and uh, despite all such aids you know, futurologists they predict some things are right and many things go wrong even astrologers they can't really predict with perfect accuracy There's so many factors involved which may even if the astrologer is good and not many astrologers are good today but even if the astrology is good still they can't predict things properly uh, because so many unknown factors are there so many uncontrolled factors are there variable factors are there so it's more like a weather forecast which may give us some understanding of things but even weather forecast goes wrong so uh, if we become too in uh, too worried about what the future will hold for us so that may paralyze us in the present and we may not be able to do things which we would have been able to do otherwise that's why uh, we have to entrust the future to the lord we don't know what the future holds but we know who holds the future krishna is the controller of all three phases of time he was the controller of the past he is the controller in the present and he will be the controller in the future in 7.26 in the bhagavad gita it is said that veda ham samati tani vartamanani cha arjuna भविष्यानी च भूतानी माम तो वेद न कश्चन सो वेदा हम समती तानी आई नो थिंग्स फुल्ली आई नो एवरीथिंग वेदा हम समती तानी वर्तमान च अर्जुन थिंग्स एज दे आर राइट नाउ आई नो दैम भविष्यानी फ्यूचर ऑल्सो आई नो भूतानी नॉट जस्ट अबाउट माई सेल्फ और अबाउट यू अबाउट ऑल लिविंग मेक्स माम तो वेद न कश्चन मी इन फुल नो वन नोज so what he means is that we can know that krishna holds the future but we can't know exactly what is in krishna's mind krishna is far greater than us he is far wiser than us therefore what we can do is entrust our future to krishna if we strive in the present to serve him diligently to connect with him sincerely then we know that that connection with him will be our security whatever the future brings our way krishna will help us find the way through it because krishna cares for all living beings and he especially cares for those who are devoted to him not that he cares less for the non devoted but they don't care for his help and that's why he reciprocates by not uh, interfering in their life uh, but for those who not only just call for his help when they are in danger but who consistently dedicate their life to him for serving him then naturally uh, he is there by their side to help them so later in the bhagavad gita in 18.58 it is said mat chitta sarva durgani mat prasada tarishasi if you become conscious of me you will pass over all obstacles by my grace so here krishna is telling that actually whatever happens we are not uh, we will never be forsaken by him so by not worrying so much about what the future holds but rather by practicing bhakti to elevate our consciousness above the world with its uncertainties to the lord who is the supreme certainty and whose protection and guidance is the supreme certainty we can face whatever the future brings confidently thank you
ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ